Hello, hello. Today we have a special video where two awesome community members, Kevin hello. and Goki, are going to show a visualization they made of a peer-to-peer -peer network and double spends. Plus, it's already live, so you can go check it out in the link below. But y'all take it away. Awesome. Thanks for the intro, Carl. Uh, why don't we just jump right in here? So you might recognize these familiar durable faces. We've got Jing, we've got Alice, we've got Carl, and we've got Bob. And they're all connected in this peer-to-peer -peer network, and they're all running their own individual PayPal code. That means that each of them has their own ledger, right? And they all agree right now that everyone has $100 with a zero knots. So we can see here, uh, let's just maybe send out some transactions. Cool. So. Uh, I'm going to pause this simulation right now and, and explain what just happened. Uh, Carl just generated a transaction. And of course, when you create a transaction, you want everyone to know about it in the network. So he sent it in two messages, one to uh, Jing and one to Alice. And once Alice received the message, she accepted it. She added uh, the transaction to her balance. So Carl lost $10 and $10 was paid to Jing. And then uh, Alice will propagate that message to all of her peers. So if we resume this, we can see everyone receives the message and then everyone agrees on state again, which is represented in the simulation by color. And you can also look at the ledgers to make sure that everyone has the same state. So great, it seems like it, it works pretty well and we can uh, just, just run this network a little bit and let the transactions propagate and see that again, they reach consensus. They all agree on the state. You know, Jing might generate a transaction, everyone will propagate it, and then accept that transaction. You know, Carl just created a new one, again, they get consensus again. So we can see that this naive implementation of everyone running PayPal seems to work pretty well. Uh, up until we reach section 2.2 in Carl's lectures and realized that double spends are possible on this network, which is really bad. So we can go over here. Uh, let's say Bob is Mallory in this case and wants to send a little double spend. Um, and so what will happen is Bob generates two transactions, one sending $10 to Alice and one sending $10 to Jing. And those transactions are going to now be sent directly. He's sending the transaction to Alice, uh, paying Alice, and the transaction paying Jing to Jing. And let's see what happens. So Alice accepted that transaction, applied it to her ledger, and then propagated it onto everyone else. And Jing accepted her double spend. And now we have a partition of the network. Jing doesn't agree with everyone else on the state. And we can look at these invalid nonce transactions, which are just transactions that have been rejected because the nonce wasn't correct, and see that Bob, Alice, and Carl all rejected this transaction that was sending money to Jing, and Jing rejected the transaction that was sending money to Alice. So because Jing applied a transaction that no one else did, and everyone else applied a transaction that Jing did not apply, now we will never agree on the state, and we will never have consensus. So we can run transactions again and let it run for a little bit, and let me pause this. And we can see, again, Jing is never going to agree with Bob, Carl, and Alice on the state of everyone's balances and nonces. So the site is live and open for you to play around with. You can send some transactions, uh, send some double spends, partition the network, and uh, you know, hopefully get a feel for, for these concepts. And just a heads up, this is version one, so it might look a little different when you go to check it out. Um, but yeah, the link is in the description below. And feel free to hit me up on Twitter with any suggestions for how we can make this better or any questions about any of the concepts in Chapter 2. And I will see you next time. Bye.